Hi, my name is Miguel from avoidarrows.net and this tutorial is about installing Active Directory, DNS, and DHCP on Windows Server 2003. So before we get started, we need to make sure that our network connection has static IP address and DNS IP address if you have one. There are several ways of doing this. You can go to the notification area if you have the icon like this one here. You can right click, click on status, and go to properties, click on properties, and then select internet protocol TCP IP, then click on properties. Uh, the radio button, select the use the following IP address and type the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS if you have one. Another way is by clicking start and click on control panel and click on network connections then click the appropriate network then click on properties and select internet protocol TCP IP click on properties again and use the following IP address radio button and type in your IP address of the mask the same and DNS if you have one Now that we've done that, now we're ready to install Active Directory. So click on Start. Manage your server. And click on Add or Remove Role. Make sure you have the Windows uh, 2003 CD in the drive, then click Next. Now once that is done, click on Typical Configuration for First Server, if this is your first server. Now type the uh, DNS name for the new domain, it can be your company. Uh, dot local or that com and you can ignore this window just click next now click next to start installation uh, this message is just warning you that it needs to restart just click OK because I have two network connections, it's asking me uh, which one do I use for internet. I'm going to select one, the one I use for internet, and then click next. Then it's going to ask you to configure NAT. Just click finish. Now wait for Active Directory DNS and DHCP to be installed.
now the computer have restarted and you can go ahead and log in So okay now click next and now click finish and in the manager uh, manager server window you can see your DHCP and Active Directory and DNS installed that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching my video my name is Miguel uh, you can feel free to visit my site thank you very much www.avoiderrors.net